Hey lovelies, today I'll be teaching you how to make this gown. If you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. I post videos every week, new tutorials every week, as many as I can. If you have not turned off the notification bell, please click on the notification bell. Leave my video a thumbs up and also drop your comment in the comment section. I love folding my fabric into four. I cut my fabric once. That's the back part of the bodice and the front part of these bodies. So this dress has three segments. So this is the first segment, which is the first half. So the first half. So the first half coat is 16. So the total length of this gown is 14. So I'm taking the half um, length, which is from the shoulder down to the two inches above your navel so i folded my fabric into four and i've left the space for zipper or button allowance so i'll be marking the neckline of the shirt of this dress so I'm, i'll be using three inches for the neckline you can go ahead and use three and a half inches then the depth of the neck is three and a half so you can explore whatever neck um, line that you want. If you want it a round neck, if you want it V neck, depend on whatever you want. So, but I'm going for the round neck. So go ahead and mark out our neckline and uh, the depth of our neckline. Then we can shape the neckline to meet the depth of the neckline. So go ahead and use your your curves or your free hand to do that. My fabric is very shaky because it is a very light chiffon fabric. So the next thing we're going to do is to measure the shoulder. So measure the shoulder. So the shoulder is a little bit wide. So we're going to take the shoulder measurement, giving one, adding one inch allowance, uh, sorry, half inch allowance to it. To enable us join the sleeve. So go ahead and for our shoulder slant, one inch, then mark our armhole depth and that will serve as our chest line. So go ahead and mark the same shoulder line at the chest line. So after doing that, automatically that's our, our chest line now. So we're going to go ahead and take our boss measurement divided by four plus one and a half inch or one inch. So whatever same allowance you want to add to it, please go ahead and add to yours. So I so as usual, we'll divide uh, the arm hole into arm hole measurement to two and we're just going to mark the midpoint of it. Then we're going to curve it just for the front and part of the body that's for the back part of the body we are not going to follow that cord so I will go ahead and do that so you curve your arm to miss your chest line so after that we you can go ahead and divide your waistline into four adding your seam allowance plus your dart allowance Go ahead and connect the waist to meet the, the boss line. So I will just do that. You can ask you to do that also to yours. So the next thing to do is to slant our shoulder. I forgot to uh, draw the shoulder slant. So go ahead and slant your shoulder. And I'll go ahead to cut out the, the body. So I'm going to cut out this body. So I'm through cutting it. I told you this gown is divided into three segments. So the next segment is the waistline to meet the lap. So you take your client measurement and cut at the desired length there from the waist to meet the lap. So I'll go ahead and minus the 16. Then I'll, fix, I'll place my tape on where the lap of my client is, which is 30. 13. So I'm just going to add two inches allowance for me to connect this fabric to the 
waistline and also connect it to the next fabric so i'll add two inch allowances to it so i'll go ahead and cut this mark this and cut this out please whatever part of the video you do not understand please go back and watch it again please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i drop tutorials every week please click on the subscribe button and follow me on instagram on blenny creative blenny creative please follow me on instagram so i've caught at the this uh, second segment so the next one is the third segment the top segment is from the lab down to meet the knee so i'll go ahead and use this fabric to cut that adding my two inches allowance to attach this to the second segment and also for folding at the hem of the gun so i have done that and these are the fabric that we needed so for the last fabric which is third segment it's ought it ought to be twice the second measurement that is the second me um, segment so the second segment is is ought to be uh, thrice the first segment that's the waist measurement so we are through with that and i have um used bias to turn the neckline i did that so the next thing is to take our dart our dart is from the dart is from shoulder to meet 10 inches at the chest line and also um one inches below it then you take uh, your nipple to nipple measurement that is your dart so i've connected my i've sewn my dart sorry to say i sewn my dart at the front at the back part of the bodies so i'll just go ahead i've placed my front bodies on my back bodies i'll go ahead and join the shoulder and the side just join the side with your the same allowance you added to read so i'm through joining it i'm through joining it and address is really coming out beautifully so this is our dress it's coming out beautifully so the next thing to do now is to bring the second segment like i told you the second segment ought to be three times or four three times it shouldn't be four times if not it's going just the gun is going to be full so it's supposed to be three times the waist measurement so but if it is two times it is okay depends on how full you want your gown to look like so this is the second segment so i'll just go ahead and gather it on the on this first segment so you go ahead and gather it so if you want to pleat it you can pleat it on the uh, way and on the first segment you can pleat it on it if you want to gather you can explore whatever way you just desire so after after um, gathering it the next thing to do is to lay your if um, the body is flat then you can now sew the gathered fabric on the um, waistline of the bodies so even if you want to pleat you just have to place it right side facing right side and you go ahead and sew all through to the zipper allowance so i'll go to my sewing machine and do that quickly so i'm through sewing it attaching it to the first segment which is the uh, body so the next thing is to attach the third segment on the second segment i told you this the third segment is supposed to be wider twice the measurement of the uh, second segment so i'll go ahead and also gather it on it so you can see that i've gathered and sewed so the this third segment on top of the um second segment but if you want the ruffles of your gather to be showing as shown in the picture original picture you can go ahead and sew it out at the right side then use your serger to weave it so the next thing to do is to fix our sleeve you're going to measure from your shoulder to meet your the dart you're going to measure it and that's what we are going to do you're going to measure it also to the back not just the front from the front to the shoulder and to the shoulder back to the dart at the back so that's what we're going to do we're going to cut the 
sleeve now. So you can use flare to cut the sleeve, uh, but you can use this pattern also to cut the sleeve. So go ahead and take the length that is from the shoulder down to the um to the dart, which is the waistline, to the waistline. And also I folded my fabric into two. That is you have to fold your fabric into two. So at this end here, which is the shoulder, it it depends on how uh, large you want your sleeve to look like. So you can go ahead and measure seven inches or your desired uh, um, length. So at the bottom, at the bottom, you can measure two and a half inches. So that will be all for the sleeve. Just connect it and that will be all for the sleeve. You can go ahead and also give the, the length a, a curve, a curve at that position there. You can give it a curve so that I can also uh, come it can also come out beautifully if you do it this way so it all depends on how you explore it so i'll go ahead and cut this off and use this as a sleeve so you can go ahead and cut your own off so i've done that to the fabric you can see the shape so the next thing to do is either you weave the edges or you fold the edges so i'm going to notch the shoulder i'm going to notch the shoulder on the sleeve so I'll go ahead and fix the shoulder of the sleeve on the shoulder of the dress where I notch. I'm going to just to go ahead and pin it. So I'm going to do it right side facing the right side of the dress. Can you see? I'm going to sew it on top, not inside. It's on top of the dress. So I'll just give... um two inches away from the neckline then i'll just mm, pin the shoulder of the sleeve to the shoulder of the dress then i'm going to just sew it straight to my darts and then sew it down to the back so that's how the sleeve, sleeve is being fixed so you can go ahead and fix your sleeve that way also so don't forget to fix the sleeve at the back. The sleeve go all, goes all the way down to the back part of the dress. With that, um, I think we are basically through with the, almost through with the dress. So we are going to fix our zipper. I'm going to fold the fabric back, back facing back that is right side facing right side that is at the back so we're going to go ahead from the waistline we're going to go ahead and measure five inches down then you can sew the other part down then fix your zipper or your button and that will be all for the dress then you can go ahead and use bias to turn the arm over please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please click on the notification bell so that whenever I post new videos, you'll be notified. Please give my video a thumbs up. See you in our next tutorial. Bye.